Hi, this is Warren with Sloan Realty, and today I'm going to talk to you about your owner portal. The owner portal has a ton of information, um, and so you can always find answers there if you can't reach us or if you're trying to find the information over the weekend or at night. All that information is there for you 24-7. So this is our website. Uh, we send you a link when you first sign on with us, enabling your portal. You need to do that within 48 hours of receiving the email and you need to do it from an actual computer. You cannot do it from a mobile device. It will not work. Once you uh, enable it the first time, it will be accessible via mobile device. It's just that first time you need to be at an actual computer. So that link that comes in that email will not work the next time you go and try to use it because it's only a temporary link. So when you get to the portal, and I'll show you that in just a second, you need to make a bookmark there, or you can always come to our website, go to owners and click on owner portal. Uh, when you click on that, it will come to this page. This is the page that you want to bookmark and this is the page you want to revisit whenever you need to do it. The email address is going to be the email address that we have in our system for you. Um, so you want to be sure that you have that uh, available. If you want to change the email address, you can either log in and do that with your old email address or send me information at clients at sloanteamrealty.com asking to update your email address and we will do that and send you a new link to enable that new email address. All right, let's go and look at an actual portal. All right, this is one of our portals for one of our owners um, and she has a couple properties with us and so we're gonna look at what she can see here and the different things that you can do here. The portal is quite powerful. so take a little bit of time to get used to it because most of the time any questions you have about the status of your property or what's going on with bills and maintenance and things like that can be found here um, so that you're not waiting to hear back from us with those details so right here on the first page we're going to see any community message that we may send out um, you will also say see that you have an unpaid bill that there are no work orders pending and then if you want to change your contact information, this is the contact information we have online for you. If you click here and edit, it will automatically update our information on our end. Uh, so there's no emails going back and forth trying to coordinate changing all that. You can communicate with us through here. We'd actually prefer you email it to us at clients at sloanteamrealty.com. That is a way for us to, for more people to see your request for information quicker. Um, so that's the easiest way to do it. Clients at SloanTeamRealty.com. All right. The next tab is statements. What you're going to hear, see here is all the statements that we have. Um, this particular owner came on board in June. Uh, so there are only statements from June. Um, but you're going to see all the statements that she's had for this year. You can download the statements by clicking on one of these links here. And you can also see any bills that were generated as part of that statement by clicking on one of these items. Down below, you will see all the draws and contributions. Draws are money that we send to you. So this money should match, these numbers should match what you received in your bank account from us, okay? Up here at the top, you'll see the previous balance, meaning that we had no money left over last month. We've got no income. Today is the first of 2019, so we haven't recorded any rents for this month. We haven't recorded any expenses for this month. Uh, we don't have an ending balance and we don't have a portfolio minimal for your property. It says negative um, available balances 105.44. That's because of that bill we saw on the first page. And we'll go take a look at that um, so you can see exactly what that is. Here is where you make an owner contribution. Owner contributions come into play when we do major repairs such as replace an air conditioner, replace a roof, um, replace carpet, have the entire house painted. The rule of thumb is if the property is rented and you receive a bill saying that there is $300 left over that you need to pay, um, if that amount is lower than the amount that we're going to collect in the next month's rent, you don't have to make a contribution. Don't worry about it. Um, if it is uh, higher than the next month's rent, then yes, we would like you to go ahead and make a contribution. Uh, so we can go ahead and pay the vendors so the vendors don't have to wait 60 to 90 days uh, in order to get paid. Uh, and that's how you do that is straight through here on this um, vendor contributions. We're going to go to reports. And these are reports that we sent last year um, for the Schedule E information. Um, bills. These are going to be bills that are, so 
it's it's very important to look up here. So filter by the build dates. How do you want these filtered or, or laid out in? And then this is where you can change and see information that you may want to see. So for example, if you want to find all of the bills for last year because you're doing your taxes, you can come to this section, click on last year, click on go, and everything will fill out all the bills that have been paid for your property. Uh, if I come back to, let's go, come back to this month. Remember that $105 that we talked about that was negative over here? Here, if you go back to bills, you'll see that we have an unpaid bill because it says amount paid zero of that amount. And this is an automatic bill that comes up for this particular owner because she's a part of our insurance program. Um, so this is a bill that automatically populates on the first of the month. And so this bill just hasn't been paid yet. So you can look at the detail or you can um, sort by different paid or unpaid. Oftentimes this will come to unpaid. Uh, you always want to switch it to all just so you can see all the information. Let's go and look at a bill that's got some information in it. We're going to focus on this one here from Handyman Services for $75. So we're going to come here to choose. We're going to select View Detail. It's going to automatically populate. It's going to show you what we did. It's going to show you the amount. It's going to show you how we paid that amount. And then it's going to be down here, a document, which is going to be a copy of the actual invoice it downloaded, so I'm going to click on that now. It's going to show you a copy of the actual invoice for that bill. This can be seen for any of our bills that are in our system. Um, you, we have full transparency on bills, so if you have any bill that you'd like to see or you want to check, please feel free to do that. Um, say, for example, this SCNG one, we can go and view that one. Again, it downloaded. I'm going to pop it open here. And you'll see all the bill here that we've been paid. All right, so let's go back to the portal. So let's go to maintenance. Okay, so this is the maintenance, and it'll say my work orders. It'll say status open. Uh, there are no open work orders, so we're going to switch this to all, so we can see these are all the work orders that have happened this year for this particular property. Okay. Uh, you can see approved and unapproved. Let's go and view detail here. If this work order was still open, you have an option to approve or unapprove. Um, do not disapprove a work order unless you've really talked to us about it. Uh, it causes a, uh, a series of things that happens. Um, that is mostly for, you know, if, there's, if it's a work order that we're looking into that we've sent someone out there just to peek at, um, if you if you unapprove it, it stops the process too soon, and we don't get an idea of what actually is happening there. Uh, and oftentimes, in those cases, we are just going out there to explore, make sure it's not something serious before telling the tenant that that's just not going to get fixed at this moment, or we need to send someone else out there. So um, always send me an email at clients at sloanteamrealty.com before you do the unapproved thing because it notifies the tenant. It just causes a bit of a mess. Um, under documents, you'll see the inspections that we have on file for you. Um, and so any other properties or any other documents we have on file for you will be found here. Okay, that is a basic overview of the owner portal. If you have any questions, please let us know at clients at sloanteamrealty.com. Uh, we hope you have a great day. Thank you very much.